Hello, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and a visionary of the Valder Beebe Show's That Celebrity Interview. Dr. Keneva, yes. welcome to the Valder Beebe Show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Well, thank you for being my guest. I want my audience to know I have neurologist Dr. Carrie Keneva. She's here to talk about June is Migraine and Headache Awareness Month. All right, for my sufferers out there, Dr. Keneva, what do you got for them? So 1% of the world population has chronic migraine, so there are a lot of sufferers out there. And I'm actually surprised how, how many people don't realize they have migraine or chronic migraine. So chronic migraine is a headache that occurs greater than 15 days out of the month. And on eight or more of those days, they have features associated with their headache, including light sensitivity, nausea, sometimes vomiting, sound sensitivity. It limits their daily activities significantly, and they uh, often don't, don't know they have the disease, and they don't know to seek treatment. But there, there are treatments available. There are many treatments available. However, um, for chronic migraine, Botox is one of the treatments available, and I use this quite frequently for my patients. It's um, an injected in the, the skin, under the skin, in the forehead, the temples, the back of the head, neck, and shoulders by typically a headache specialist or a neurologist. And it's done every 12 weeks for prevention of chronic migraine. And so these treatments, do you tell your doctor or your doctor's going to know about this? How do you connect to that network of treatment? So typically a neurologist or headache specialist would know about this treatment and would offer it to patients. Um, but patients can actually find doctors who would know about the treatment on the website BotoxChronicMigraine.com. It's there they can find kind of information about Botox, including the side effects. Um, and, you know, as with any medications, there are potential side effects. And what I do see in my practice is sometimes patients get neck pain or a little bit of eyelid or eyebrow movement weakness. Um, we've changed the way we inject the Botox, so, and it's a very precise process, so I actually don't see it very often. But um, other serious side effects can occur, including difficulty with kind of speaking, breathing, swallowing. However, I've never seen that in my practice. So BotoxChronicMigraine.com okay. is the, the website for most information. All right, Dr. Knievel, thank you so very much. I'm watching my audience on Facebook. Some of them are saying, thank God for this. Oh, good. So thank you. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you. thank you very much. 